Today I would like to look uh, at nouns, numbers, and adjectives. This relates to Unit 8 in your book. The first thing I want to talk about is proper nouns. Proper nouns, remember, uh, are those nouns that require a capital letter. For example, the days of the week, the months, people's titles, Dr. Christopher Jones, Ms. Joy Blake, uh, the names of um, languages and or uh, citizenships, so Canadian, Costa Rican, French fries. Plural nouns, or proper nouns can be plural. So I can say, I go to the gym on Mondays. I can put an S on, the, on Mondays. Or, many Americans believe in owning and carrying guns. Americans is a proper noun, and I can make it plural. Common nouns can take an S, but they're, it's not necessary, but they can be, of course, uh, plural or singular. Um, we talk about two different types, countable and uncountable, or what we call noun count, non-count. Countable nouns have a singular form. They, it begins with a uh, or an, or also the word the. We'll talk about that uh, at another time. A tree, an elephant. Remember, I need to say an elephant uh, in front of a vowel sound or a word that begins with a vowel sound, elephant. But I say a university because university begins with a consonant sound, university, or a history book. In English, we pronounce the H. Uh, for countable nouns, I also have plural forms. I can use regular and irregular plurals, and to qualify the words, or to quantify them, I use words like the, some, many, several, etc. There are irregular plurals and spelling. There are several irregular plurals, you know, a few of them that you can look at today. Wife becomes wives, so I-F-E becomes I-V-E-S. Mouse is mice. It's uh, one that you just have to learn. Child, children. Person is people. Country becomes countries. So if I have the letter Y and a vowel, or a consonant rather, R in front of the Y, I change the Y to I and I add ES. And if I have a vowel in front of the Y, I just add S. Uncountable or non-count nouns are different in English from in French, and you really have to learn them. They are always singular, which means they do not take an S. Uh, they don't use the word a, an, or many. So I can use words like some, a lot of, or much. Normally, I only use much in negatives and questions. I can use it in an affirmative with the words too or very. So I can say, I have too much work to do. Normally, uh, I use it in a negative. I don't have much time to do my work this week. A few important ones include homework, time, money, luggage, advice, information, etc. In your grammar book, Avenues 3, look on page 78 for more examples. A possessive case of nouns. This is when somebody owns something. So, the car of Melanie is at the garage. In English, I say, Melanie's car is at the garage. I do not say, the Melanie's car is at the garage. So, I just add an apostrophe S to the word Melanie. The name of the mother of Bruno is Isabel. Bruno's mother's name is Isabel. Here, I say Bruno's, so this is possessive. Mother's, possessive. Name is here, the apostrophe S, it means is. Name is. Bruno's mother's name is Isabel. That's a trick question. The dog of my uncle died last week. My uncle's dog died last week. In this one, it's a bit of an exception in that, or it's not an exception, but the room of the teachers is near the cafeteria. Teachers is already plural, so I just add an apostrophe after the S. Numbers, these are fairly simple for you to remember. Uh, seven, 700, you notice there is no S on 100. 721, when I have numbers from 1 to 100, I put a hyphen between them. 7,235, so again the hyphen. 79, so 79 is before 100. 79,456. 
So the no S on hundred, thousand, million, etc., unless the number is general. There were thousands of people at the concert. Many versus much. I use many with count nouns, so things I can count, in affirmatives, negatives, and questions. He has many responsibilities at his job. She doesn't read very many books. How many courses are you taking this semester? I use much with non-count nouns, negatives, and questions, and rarely in affirmatives. So we don't have much homework this week. How much time do we have for a break? And as I said earlier, I can use much with an in an affirmative sentence with the word to and very. I like tennis and golf very much. Few and little, also these are common errors. Uh, I use few with count nouns. There are a few students who love English. It means there are some, but not a whole bunch. There are few students who love English. It means not really very many at all. There are fewer calories in an apple than in a chocolate bar. I can count calories, so I need to say fewer. This is a common error. If you watch television, you'll hear people say there are less calories. That's wrong, 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 because you can count calories. Little, I use for non-count nouns. We have little time before the break. It means not much time. We have a little time before the break. It means some, but not a lot. Or, there is only a little bit of homework this week. Again, it means some, but not a lot. Pronouns, there are some common errors. One of the most difficult uh, problems with pronouns is when to use a subject or an object pronoun. For example, do you say, me and my sister went shopping, or my sister and I went shopping? Do you say, he gave the package to Sarah and myself, he gave the package to Sarah and I, he gave the package to Sarah and me? The trick is to say each sentence with just one pronoun. So can you say, me went shopping? No, unless you're two years old. So the correct pronoun is I, I went shopping. Can you say, he gave the package to myself? No, so the correct answer is, he gave the package to me. Other common errors that you have to watch out for, uh, it's is a possessive, I-T-S, the dog wagged its tail. It Apostrophe S, it means it is, or it has. I'm only giving you the example right now with it is. It's a nice day. There, T-H-E-R-E, is a place or an existence. There's a dog. There, meaning they are, they're coming to the party. Or there as a possessive, their car is pink. Your is a possessive, Y-O-U-R. Your cats are in the barn. And your, you are, uh, you're going to be late, hurry up. So please pay attention to that. Reflexive pronouns also cause a lot of problems. Uh, in English we use reflexive pronouns, like in French, it's when the person doing and receiving the action is the same. She cut herself with a knife while cooking. So she didn't cut somebody else, she cut herself. He looked at himself in the mirror. They managed to change their flat tire by themselves, so they did it themselves. So good luck. Uh, you'll find more explanations and opportunities to practice in your grammar book. You can also go to the Online Language Help Center for more information and help. And of course, you can always ask your teacher for help. I will be putting this on Moodle for you. In fact, I'll put on a different version with more explanations. So have a great semester.